kama oli katondo we chisamo kama oli katonda talemererwa mashekete ya baba come on lift up your voice and talk to god we bless you jesus we worship you we exalt you Lord to kusitula mukwe want to be praised to adoro kusiza oh mashekete ya baba blessing and honor glory and power Worthy to be praised. Oh, Sanidoxenere. <laughs> Ningali ke chichama umutwe Yesu kwa galira dala Ebiensi yonambi ale teri kusinga Yesu Avantu wanike mikono jo akwanga lero inchane ba kuchawa
sing it to Jesus. Yes, yes, to me. I belong to you, the Spirit of the Lord. Please speak. Shando robos. Proseke te yama katrabo. Proseke makatande. Lord, we are yours. Lord, we are yours. Speak with your Lord. Tell him that I belong to you, Lord. I belong to you, Jesus. Rika bo shanta. Maka bo shete ma. Maka robos. Bara sete ya te kata. Limo suma tande kerera. Anungamia.
Tell him to come to you today. Tell him, Holy Spirit, I need you tonight. Come and minister to me. Come and talk to me. Come and touch me. Open your hearts before when him. When the Holy Spirit comes, many things happen. Come on, welcome the Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you today. We welcome you today. Have your way. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way, have your way, Jesus. Fill us with your glory. Fill us with your presence. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. By the anointing. The Holy Spirit will reign. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call upon the Spirit of the Lord. Call upon the Spirit of the Lord. The Holy Spirit will reign. Is He's going to fill you. He's the one who baptizes in the fire. Holy Spirit, we welcome you tonight. Come and baptize us. Come and fill us. Come and anoint us. We need you, Holy Spirit. You are our God. You are our friend. You are our Lord. We trust in you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit. We welcome you tonight. Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Feel our temple tonight. Feel our lives tonight. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Come on, welcome him. Welcome him. Welcome him in your life. He is able to set you free. He is able to heal you. He is able to bless you. He will become your friend. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. Come on, welcome him. Welcome him. Welcome him. Welcome him. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit. 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 Holy Spirit
need you Holy Spirit to fill us tonight fill us today fill us with your fire fill us with your anointing Spirit of the living God Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Omoyo mtuku feel us today tujuzerero feel us today tujuzerero feel us today tujuzerero mosekete moyo mtuku mashekete prosekete mashekete prosekete makata roshanta come on speak to him yango moyo mtuku lero wait on him wait on him mulindirire wait on him mulindirire mashekete prosekete ande mosekete moyo mtuku Jesus. Yes. Touch us all. Avoid any disturbance of the external force. Avoid moving around. Avoid looking. Avoid looking, looking. Focus. Focus on the Holy Spirit. Focus your Holy Spirit. Spirit. He's here tonight. He's here this afternoon. He's here this afternoon. He's here this afternoon. Come on, sing it, sing it, sing it, sing it. Jesus, we need you. Yes, we need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. Come and be our guide. Come and be our friend. Come and be our leader. Come and be our master. Come and take over. This is your time. This is your moment. Come and reign. Oh, Shakata. Sit down as you worship. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch someone, Holy Ghost. Touch someone, Holy Ghost. I feel him in this place. I feel his presence. I feel his presence here. Right where you are close to you right now. Someone you're getting filled by the Holy Spirit. Someone you're getting filled by the Holy Spirit. Holy We bless you, 
Holy Spirit. We worship you, Holy Spirit. You will come tonight. The grace of God be with you. The grace of the Lord is set upon you. Do we need the Holy Spirit? We need the Holy Spirit this time. We need Him at this time. Shakata ya Baba Baba. Mashakata. Ekatona isabio. Mo shakata. Loko shikete yande. Mo shakata. Araba sete yande ka. Mo shakata. Mo boshite yakashi. Agabe chisa choku saba Lira kuita onyambe nage 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 Agabe chisa choku saba Imba imba na manigo Lira kuita onyambe nage Agabe Chisa choku saba, lira kuita onyambe nage. Wagabe chisa choku saba, lira kuita onyambe nage. Wagabe chisa choku saba, lira kuita onyambe nage.
welcome in this place. Speed with a clap of a ring. Luke chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, Luke Sula Satu on Yirakumina Mukaga Bible Yagamba. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloosen. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. I repeat, John answered them saying, I indeed baptize you with water, but the one mightier than I cometh, the latchet whose shoes I am not worthy to unloosen. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him you shall be baptized in the fire. You shall be baptized in the fire. You shall be baptized in the fire. For the past two weeks, we have been laboring to talk about the Holy Spirit. It has been the weeks of the Holy Spirit. And we have been discovering who the Holy Spirit is. What the Holy Spirit can do. We are just still tipping on the iceberg. Man, because the Holy Spirit is very wide. Even this coming week, we are going to continue in the same floor. We are going to learn about the power, the fire, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is at work. Now John the Baptist was being asked, Are you the one? Are you the Messiah? Please don't forget this week is going to be very powerful. I want you to be part of it. And on Sunday, on Sunday that is coming, we shall have a Holy Spirit celebration. I mean a Holy Spirit celebration. 
That's how God has brought it in my spirit. We shall invite as many friends as possible. And we shall also have some food to eat in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. As we climax the Holy Spirit. Somebody say amen. So John the Baptist was, was being asked questions. Because they saw him preaching and talking. He was preaching in a different way than the Pharisees who were there. So he answered them that I baptize you with water. Because they wanted to know whether he's the Messiah. Whether he's the one they have been waiting for. So he gave them a, a different and unique answer. He never told them I'm the Messiah. Oh, I am the Christ. Oh, I am a baptizer. He just answered them and said, I baptize you with water. But he that comes after me, even the sole of his shoe, I cannot remove it. In other words, he's mightier than me. If you have seen me, the one who is coming is mightier than me. He is much more than what you see. The work of John the Baptist was to introduce Jesus. Introduce Jesus in the world. Amen. So he did his PR work very well. And he said, me I baptize with water. But the one who is coming after me, he is going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Somebody say amen. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus, baptize me in the fire. Say it again, baptize me in the fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Now when we understand the scripture, we come to know that there are two kinds of baptism. We come to know that there is water baptism. People must be baptized in water as a symbol, as a a sign as a kingdom custom. Then after we have been baptized with water, we don't stop there. Many denominations stop there. Many people stop there. They think water baptism is enough. No, water baptism is a symbol. But after you have been baptized in water, there is one who is mightier. He is mightier than the pastor who baptized you. He's mightier than someone who immersed you in the water. And his name is Jesus. He baptizes in the Holy Spirit and in fire. Lift up your hand and say, Jesus, I want to be baptized. Say it again, I want to be baptized. Now we spoke this in the morning that when we talk about baptism, it is immersion. We have to immerse you in water. Baptism is a Greek word which means baptizo, baptizo, baptizo which means immersion something has to be submerged like the submarine submarine when it goes underwater it comes out some of the words they use are baptism submerging so every Christian who, who is in Christ must be baptized you have to be baptized Amen. Amen. sprinkling is not baptism uh -uh. No, 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 that's not baptism that is something else but John the Baptist says I baptize you. He stood in a river where there is a lot of water and he pushes people under the water and then he brings them out as a sign of resurrection in Christ. After that baptism, there is yet another baptism and that is the baptism of the fire. Just as John the Baptist stands in the water, just as your pastor stands in the water and baptizes you, so does Jesus stands in the river of fire, the river of the Holy Spirit, to baptize whoever desires. Somebody say amen. Ask your neighbor, have you been on both to both baptisms? I know you were baptized with water. But have you ever been baptized in the Holy Spirit? Ask him kindly. 
I know you even received a card. And you keep it very well. But why are we not seeing the card for the Holy Spirit? Praise the Lord. So he shall baptize us in the Holy Ghost and in fire. Which means without the Holy Spirit, we cannot proceed. We cannot succeed. We cannot attain levels. It is the Holy Ghost who can lift a standard in our lives. Somebody say amen. Isaiah 59, 19, the Bible says, the Bible says, so shall men fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, everybody say the spirit of the Lord, shout it louder, say the spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard against him. When we are baptizing the Holy Ghost, he raises standards in your life, in your ministry, in your family, whatever you do, God raises a standard. Receive the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Receive the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. I always get excited with that. I always get excited with that. Because the Holy Spirit is all we need. When the Holy Spirit is with us, we are able to succeed in life. Somebody say amen. You have to be baptized. Life without baptism is very hard. A person who walks without the Holy Spirit, who has no fire in him, he is as cold as anything. A preacher without the fire is a cold preacher and he has no impact. A singer without the fire is a cold singer. Don't disturb us when you are cold. Tell your neighbor that if you are cold, please go and get fire. We are tired of your coldness. Go and get fire. Tell sister Nabuete, please. If you are in need of fire, please seek for it. In Jesus name. Let God baptize you with fire. Whatever you shall do, shall succeed. Wherever you go, people will be blessed. When you lift the stand, the sick will hear you. Because it has become possible. Because you have been baptized in the fire of God. Somebody who has fire cannot be bewitched. And let the bewitcher be very careful. It better live because with the fire. Because when fire is available, there is no witch who can live. Somebody say amen. Touch your neighbor and tell him I am baptized in the Holy Ghost and in fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't allow yourself to call. Even when you are playing and you are praying, let them not be prayer. called prayers. Mwate mukama. He say, Lord, I'm in my bed. You are your dark of I really don't know whether I succeed. Better leave that kind of prayer. Pray like someone with fire. Let the spirits behind 
that Nakatanza has become tough. There is something that has become tough. Say amen. Say amen. Tell your neighbor that play like one who is fiery. will worship like fire. Speak like one who is fiery. Who thinks the way you are with the fire. Stop being called. We shall be baptized in the fire. May the fire kindle you in our life. If you are filled with the fire, even the demons will see you from a distance. The witch will see, ah, you better take me back. Because fire is the kingdom. May the fire of God burn in you. May the fire of God burn in your spirit. So that people will experience the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shall Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Irene was asked what do you depend on? Someone who is full of fire even, even, even if you have anything you cannot do but come. Come. The fire of God brings about the difference. I Baptize me with fire. When they ask, they call you to pray for a sick, please go uh, with confidence. Please stop going around. There is a sick person in there and you begin to meander somehow. Uh, or maybe I should have called the sister Nakaji because he's able to do it. Praise the Lord. Please don't judge. You have been baptized in the fire. That fire will move. That fire will heal. That fire will bring a difference in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight if you need it, God is going to baptize you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor and say neighbor. Let the fire of God Walk in the fire. Call the fire, brother, that time you are moving out of your house. A car which, is, which has someone with the fire will never get an accident. The business with someone with the fire will never fail. Because the fire of God is there. The one who tries to wake somebody who has fire will always suffer from it. Amen. Let the Kunjani get to know that you have fire. Because who tries to bewitch someone with the fire will suffer. The one who marries a woman with the fire has married the fire. The fire will bring about difference in the house of the Lord. The one who marries a brother with the fire will have married the house. Because that house of yours will be shout hallelujah. Jesus is named Sarah, I don't know. If you, if you become a partner with someone who has fire, things will become alright. Tell your neighbor that you are blessed to sit next to me. Because the fire with me is going to catch you up. The fire that I have is going to catch you up. Stir up the fire inside of you. When the Holy Spirit comes into your the situation, will come. Somebody shout hallelujah. If there is a shrine next to you, don't be here. Just look straight at it and say fire five times. You will see the witch moving away. Somebody shout hallelujah. He shall baptize us in fire. You cannot walk without fire. fire. Life without the fire is boring. Is religion. Is there some fire in you? Ask your neighbor. Yes. yes, I know you have some fire, but make fire is anjaulo. Omuliro guani fire is. Oinzo kuvera ne fire ya tadoba. Wandi bango lina fire for the candle. And you boast that you have fire. Oli na vera ne fire ya achi. Somebody has a. Someone has a lantern. Nomula banga tambole bitoji alinye mukanda. And is walking majestically. Kuvanga lozali no omuliro. Because he thinks he has fire. Weta go omuliro. You need fire. Guliogwari kubibebi ya Samson. The fire that was. Oba ingira monsuku ne. That 
there is that fire when it descends bring disturbances to them if God gives you fire you begin to see your position people begin to be in the name of Jesus those who have been fighting you will become your friends those who fix you are nothing because the Lord is taking you somewhere someone who has fire will not pay you someone who has fire will not pay you someone who has fire will not pay you Someone with the fire will never pay you. 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 Someone with the fire will never pay Fire. Because oh. once fire is there, the impossibility has become possible. Those who have left you will become bad. Those who have left you will be bad. Those who took your things will be bad. The enemies that they took, God will bring them back. The fire of God is here tonight. I command fire in your house. I command fire in your life. I command fire in your family. Let fire come. 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 He that comes oh, yeah, shall baptize you in the fire. There is fire enough to change everything. There is fire enough to lift your home. Tell your neighbor and say neighbor. Among those ones who cry, complaining, you are not part. Those who think they have only one day, don't be part. Please, we are not that person. Somebody, Somebody who is not part is very poor. He knows why he's going. You cannot tell him that you're going to die. We do not die so much as a like God. We shall not die. We shall not die. Because the Bible says, we shall not die. But we shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still alive. And I'm still, still breathing. I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the Lord. land of the living. Somebody shout hallelujah. When the fire is in your spirit, you are unstoppable. When the fire is in your spirit, you are irresistible. Somebody say amen. Tell your neighbor and say neighbor. If you will just forgive me. You you've been sitting near the cold ones but today you are sitting next to the fire and receive it in the name of Jesus somebody shout fire say fire somebody shout fire fire he shall baptize us in the fire may God baptize you that you become a mark in this land that every devil shall see you and shall recognize the glory of God that those who spoke again they shall see the glory of God. Those who took your things, they shall recognize the glory of God. Baptize us, Holy Spirit. Say Amen. Tell him that he is going to be baptized. He's going to baptize you today. He's going to baptize you in the name of Jesus. This week is a week of baptism. This week is a week of anointing. It is a week of dressing. Dressing the coat of God. To put on the mantle. And we enter the Dressing the fire. The Holy Spirit must become something else in our lives. If you have understood, say amen. The book of Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 2 from verse 1. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. They were all in one accord in one place. Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as, a, as of the rushing of the mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting. Verse 3, and it appeared unto them cloven tongues of fire. Everybody say fire. 
Wogana gamba fire. Gamba neighbor utola fire. And it sat upon each one of them. Verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm. Mm. The wind is going to make a loud sound. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. Tell your names all. All of us. No one is left behind. No one we shall leave behind. The doses for the Holy Spirit are just enough. There are not like those ones of COVID that you have to cry for. Praise the Lord. The doses of the Holy Spirit are enough. The Bible says that all we are filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Raise up your hand in the air. Say, O Lord, this evening, I ask for one thing to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus, you can take all other things, but the Holy Spirit stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Hallelujah. Amen. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Do you know what it means to be filled by the Holy Spirit? You know you could be in the village there. Those who with the shrines. And you would drum. And you would drum persistently. And you would even sweat. Because you are waiting for one demon to fall upon you. And you would drum. Do you remember that man who is it to drum? Um, I'm talking to you who is it to do it. Please don't pretend that you came from heaven. You remember that man who is it to drum in the shrine? As we are there still doing it. Then one small demon will come. And all of you would get stirred up. And you would say the Mwanga has come. Praise the Lord. But, but once the Holy Spirit comes in, do not bring demons. Hallelujah. When he comes, things begin to change. When he comes, your house changes. You need to welcome him. And you task him with all your responsibilities of your house. Don't just give him the, 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 the room. Don't only allow him to control the chicken because you want him to control your food. But allow him to control everything inside your bed. Up to the bed where you sleep. Up to the bed where you sleep. So the Bible is saying, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, when the day came, Amen. When the day fully came, tell your neighbor that there is always time. There is always time. The Holy Spirit always moves in seasons and moves in times. You do not simply come. You, you, are the one, you are not the one to choose which day he must come. And you tell him that this week I am busy, you will come next week. That's not the way it is. He's not the one to wait for it, it's you to wait. For you. Hallelujah. He's not the, the one in need of you, it is you who needs him. Tell your neighbor that you are, you are the one in need and of him. Bude, mugambe, bude. And give him your time. Mukama Praise the Lord. Oh, the God is timing is for everyone. Everyone has his time. The Bible che. says he makes everything beautiful. Bible is in his time. time. 
Raise up your hand and say, let go right If he has delayed, he is doing Bola something. If you find God doing something, he's planning for something. If you, your time hasn't ne come, ya ya katuka, But when your time comes, nothing that will stop your blessing. Katuka, when time comes, agenda no one will stop you. When your time comes, you will see all the roads. Roads open the, the, the rights will give Christ People begin Jesus. to join you in the name of Jesus. You get connections in the name when of the road. When the time comes, God begins to work things in your favor. You will realize that even the person you find along the way is there for your purpose. If you have to say amen. You you need, but wait for your time. God is planning something for you. God wants to do something. Hallelujah. Amen. So there is time for everything. Wait on the Lord. Wait on his time. Wait on his visitation. When he decides to come, he can change your life in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. God is and this week is waiting for you. He wants to change your life. Because he's telling you something. He wants to do something for you. He wants to make you enter somewhere. There are things you are going to overcome. There are blessings you are going to receive. You are, those things you lost. God has decided to bring them back. The connection is going to connect you too. Be in your timing. Amen. Walk in your season. Stop walking in other people's time. Stop walking in people's time. Walk in your time. There is time for you. Maybe you visit someone. He will visit you too. Maybe you bless someone. But your time is coming. Maybe you lifted someone. But in the same way, you do it for you. Say amen. Say amen. When he came, he could not go home. Come to church. Say that your hand and said, God is my time. This is my time, Lord. To lift me up in Jesus' name. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. The Bible says they were in one accord. 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 They were speaking one thing. They were praying one thing. The same thing. We have to work together. We have to think in the same way. Once we gather before God, it's so important to be in one accord when we are before God. It's very important to be in oneness. That's why the Bible says when two or three people agree upon something on earth, in heaven, it shall be stamped. If we agree in this ministry, about the Holy Spirit in heaven it shall be stamped. The Holy Spirit will drill here. We to come and dwell here. Or, or and you make this your home and we believe in it. He will indeed come. Praise the Lord. He will indeed come. That's how revivals begin. Revivals begin with the Holy Spirit. Revivals. You cannot start a revival without a Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, please. Every revival could is what It starts with the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we have to be one. Let us avoid bickering. Let us avoid gossips. Let us avoid slumbers. Let us avoid pecking on one another. Let us avoid conspiracy. Let us be one for the disciples to attract the Holy Spirit. For the disciples to attract the Holy Spirit. The Bible says they were in one accord. They were in one place. They were in one. They were in oneness. No, 
they were all asking for the Holy Spirit. No one was praying for his own interest, but they were in one accord. And we are yearning for the Holy Spirit. The Bible says suddenly. The Bible says suddenly. He is about to come. Your house will says it. That is the Holy Spirit. Once you call him, he will not come in a shying manner. He comes with power. Amen. He says the place. He takes control. He owns it. Once you believe, he will lead you and you will follow. Somebody say amen. amen. So the Bible says suddenly there came a rushing mighty wind from heaven. And it filled the whole house. And it appeared on them. And to them tongues of fire. The tongues of fire fell on each one. Raise up your hand. That today, the fire of tongue, I call that tongue to come to my head in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, for tongues of fire. We are not talking about the language, the tongues that the we speak. Ta- we, the, you know, the enemy is omurido. The tongues the of fire. The flames of fire. Huh? Enemy is omurido. Everybody said the flames of fire. Enemy is omurido. Tonight I attract the flames of fire. Le in Jesus' mighty name. So Bible that the uh, tongues of fire rested upon them. Among all of them, they sat on them. Even the one who could not speak, the one who was poor, even the one who was less expected, when the Holy Spirit approached, he filled them all. Why? The Holy Spirit is no respect our persons. He works with everyone. As long as you open up your heart and you become committed to Cause. And you give your heart to Jesus. The Holy Spirit will work within you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Maybe you are that person who cannot speak well. But once the Holy Spirit descends upon you, you will begin to speak well in Jesus' name. You may not know English, but when He comes upon you, those who can speak will interpret in Jesus' name. Then the whites will welcome in Jesus' name. They will even invite you with your interpreter in name. The person who has the Holy Spirit is, pa- is precious. Amen. Even if he is sleeping in the right heart. But once the Spirit of the Lord is with those things will turn into history. It becomes history. Even if he is From the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is shown, your mercies ever new. From the rising. Ladies and gentlemen, you need God to come upon you. Because when the Holy Spirit is with you, you are not going to be limited by geography. Even if you are staying in Chile, even if you are staying somewhere, once the Holy Spirit can come down in your house, and people will begin to come and seek for you. Never joke with the Holy Spirit. He's a very powerful person. He can drop people. He will lift people from law and put them up. 
He's the one who crowns prince and princesses. Stop seeking for very many other things. And you ask me to give you a prize. Just invite the Holy Spirit. Stop asking God for a house. That God help me and derive a car. You only need the Holy Spirit. You only need the Holy Spirit. And you say that God make me also move in nations. That they also call me a billionaire. That is so good. But only one thing you need is the Holy Spirit. Raise up your hand and say, oh, the Holy Spirit. You are the only one I need. You are the only one I need. You need the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that they were in the room. They were deep rooted in God. They were in prayer. They were crying unto God. Then the Holy Spirit. He rises with people who pray. People who pray. And those ones who are in deep, deep in God. Those who are in sacred presence of God. That is where God, uh, God visits too. You need to go deep in God. God cannot be with you when you are so close to the world. God cannot be with you when you are so close to the world. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. If you want to become his friend. Begin to distance yourself from the secular world. Begin to distance. If you want to become the, spirit, the friend to the Holy Spirit, distance yourself from the pressures of this world. Distance yourself from things that he does not want. That is when you develop a friendship with him. In Jesus' name. You are that person who wants the who desires the Holy Spirit, but again you have a lot of interest in secular things. Why is he going to settle? He cannot share the same room with the secular world. If you have understood, say amen. The Holy Spirit who desires to come to the place where there is no one. When there is no rumor mongering hidden somewhere. When there is no adultery. When there is no pride hidden. Ask your neighbor, is your house empty so that the Holy Spirit can come? Is the, your house empty? Those things in the corner, did you remove them? Those things tied up somewhere, did you put them down? Ask him, please. <laughs> Amen. You can hardly welcome the Holy Spirit when you are still having a knot tied somewhere. He will not come. Let the house be empty. So that the temple must be empty. So that the Holy Spirit can dwell. Ladies and gentlemen, even if you are poor, but be a friend of the Holy Spirit. Even if you are not known, even if you are not a celebrity, be a friend of the Holy Spirit. That's better. He will make you his own celebrity. Hallelujah. Even if you have little money, even when you have little money, just tell the Holy Spirit to dwell with you. Even when you are feeding on mukene,
These leaves are bean leaves. Uh, any kind of food that you may not like. But let the Holy Spirit be with you. Even when you don't have money. You see most times when people are not having money. They are so unstable. They become very unstable. They began to focus on many other things. They no longer settle. Wondering how to get it. Where can I get it from? Where can I get the money from? Don't give certain time. Just be a friend to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows what you desire. And He will grant it to you. And will do a work upon it. Let people enjoy themselves, but you be uh, patient. Yes, your neighbor is doing his cooking something good, and for you, you don't have anything. These days, they told him that you use uh, some things you cover to pretend that it's food. You try to get some sticks and you cover them with the banana leaves to people to think that there is food. Yet there is nothing. Tell your neighbor that the Holy Spirit is going to work upon it. The Holy Spirit will work upon it. Yes, the one neighbor has good things that um, uh, um, become ready so fast. Biblia, but they last what does longer. the Bible say? Biblia, Never fret when a wicked prospers. And, and then you begin to feel uh, sorry. No. It's, it's like wind. Amen. But the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. When, when God blesses you, you never cry that you have caught HIV. You will not complain that there is another problem. That they sacrifice. You have money, but things come to attack you at night. Somebody begins to tell you that you killed me to get money. Better wake up and enjoy your money. And eat your money. Amen. You have money, but there is another infirmity. There are some people I look in this nation and I pity them. They have really accumulated wealth. You know, I never knew that Uganda has wealthy. In this nation, there are people with lots of money. So rich. But a problem. There is something. It is taking them. It is counting their ribs. The blessing with curse. I pray that God gives you a blessing without a curse. I don't, I don't forget that day when I first entered a marvelous house. I was preaching in Kenya. Those Kenyans can cherish their houses. When I entered that house, I wondered where I was. The woman had called, had invited me to pray for the house. Then I began to stare and look around. Then wondered, God, Ah, people can build. When will you remember us, God? Ladies and gentlemen, when this woman began to narrate, <laughs> then I began to say, I rather live in the life I lead at home. Let me stay in the Lord's house. The one with Jesus and has the Holy Spirit. Let me enjoy myself in my own way. Because those people would always be attacked by Their demons. demons every attack now them now. live. 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 
and they would uh, possess the children. They would desire to be uh, sacrificed. They were demanding for human sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. You have riches but it cannot help you. You need the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, it will give you peace. The one you have will be enough. Until when it will put you to a level where you like. If you have understood, say amen. The one you have will compel you, will propel you. Will lift you slowly by slowly. Slowly by slowly. Will be left, lifted slowly by slowly. And don't fear when you find yourself being lifted. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. Give Jesus a thunderous hand. Rise up on your feet because you're going to sing one song. We pray as you're welcoming the Holy Spirit. To ask God to do something in you. Please, musicians, come and give us at least a two songs. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, the Holy Spirit is going to do a new what in, you, in Jesus' name. I pray if you want to be filled up or you want God to do something in you, you will walk slowly in front here. In Jesus' name. We shall be praying to you with the pastors. The Holy Spirit. To do something in you. In your life. Walk here in front. Moyo mutu kuvu jangu jangu mu chifo chino leo kama murimbo lo sinza mukama wanike mikono jo Mikono jongo imbi na mukama.
Let the pastors begin to pray. Begin to pray. We are welcoming the anointing. We are welcoming the Holy Spirit. Visit your people. Visit your people. Your people. Call upon him. Call him now. As you are raising your hearts as a prayer. Call out when you raise up your hands. Shakateke. Receive it now. Gago, gago. Receive it now. Kuchalia. Let him visit you. Follow Murilo. Receive fire. Fire. Murilo. Fire. Murilo. Fire. Murilo. Yambalama. Receive fire. Yambalama. Receive power. Yambalama. Receive power. Yambalama. Receive power. Yambalama. Receive power. In Jesus' name. Kuchalia. He's visiting you. Follow Murilo. Receive fire. Follow Murilo. Receive fire. Mashakata. Akarebosita. Murilo. The power of God. Murilo. The power of God. Murilo. The power of God. Receive now. Touch. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive. Yamala. Receive. In Jesus' name. Shaka take it. Baka shake it. The power of God. Yamala. Receive fire. Yamala. Receive the power. Shika taka ya baba. Baka shake it. Baka shake it. Baka shake Receive the anointing in Jesus' name. He's giving you power. He's giving you power. He's blessing you the power. The fire of God in Jesus' name. Every yoke that has been that has been holding to lose in the name of Jesus. Receive fire. Receive power. Receive power. I unrich the anointing. I unrich the anointing. I unrich the anointing. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Fire. Muriro. Fire. Muriro. Fire. Muriro. Fire. Muriro. Fire. Muriro. Fire. Muriro. Muteke wagulu. Muteke wagulu. Muteke wagulu. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive. 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 Receiving power right now. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Fire. 
The power of God is coming. The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. Raise up your hands. 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 Raise up your Receive fire. He baptizes in the fire. He baptizes in the fire. Receive fire. Receive. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shekete. Proseteke. Prosekayande. He's baptizing in fire. He's baptizing in fire. Father, I release the anointing. 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 By the anointing, let the yokes be broken. Let the chains be broken. Receive an anointing. Receive a fire. In the name of Jesus. 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 Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the anointing. Receive power. Receive the anointing. Receive power in Jesus' name. Receive power in Jesus' name. Receive power in Jesus' name. Receive power in the name of Jesus. He shall baptize in the Holy Spirit and in fire. Receive fire. In Jesus' name. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. In Jesus' name. Shall baptize in the fire. He shall baptize in the fire. Fire of God. He shall baptize. He shall baptize. In the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come closer, please. Come closer. Shake your Raise up your hands. Fire of God. Fall upon her. Mugweko. Fall upon her. Mugweko. In Jesus' name. Receive fire. Receive fire. Fresh. In Jesus' name. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God. In Jesus' name. By the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Receive it in Jesus' name. By the Holy Spirit. Receive. In the name of Jesus. By the Holy Spirit. Receive. In the name of Jesus. We bless your name. Receive it. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive the anointing. The baptism of the fire. Receive it now. Fresh. I'm be baptized in the fire. Be baptized in the fire. Mashakata. Be baptized in the fire. Be baptized in the fire. Holy Spirit. Fresh. 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 He that comes 
comes after me oh, yeah, we will baptize you with the fire ah, baptize no receive it in Jesus name receive it in Jesus name baptism by fire oh, baptism by fire baptism by fire oh, baptism by fire oh, baptism by fire, oh, baptism by fire. Oh, baptism by fire. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus baptism by fire oh, baptism by fire in the name of Jesus receive it now receive it now baptism by fire oh, baptism by fire baptism by fire baptism by fire touch baptism by fire shake your teeth come raise up your hands let the Lord baptize you fire 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 of God. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Shall baptize in the fire. Baptize in the fire. Baptize in the fire. Baptize in the fire. Shall baptize in the fire. Baptize in the fire. Shall baptize in the fire. Baptize in the fire. He shall baptize in the fire. Receive it in Jesus' name. 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 Baptism of the fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Give Jesus a thunder Sunday club. Gamba neighbor who baptism by fire. Tell your neighbor baptism with fire. Get hold of your of a tree and your tithe. You, you, you came with a tithe, raise up your hand so much that you can receive an envelope in Jesus' name. If you have a tithe, just lift up your hand and I give you a tithe envelope. Every time you come in the house of God, never come empty handed. Come with an offering. An offering to bless and to glorify the Lord. Lift up your hand if you need a tithe envelope. We are still continuing in the, in the Holy Spirit. This last coming week. Make sure you come and be part of it. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead us. So that by Sunday. We shall have a celebration in this place. Amen. Amen. Let's believe the Holy Spirit to help us to have a celebration. We, want to, we shall write some, some letters and invite people. You can also invite your neighbors to come for the celebration. Let's celebrate for the Holy Spirit. You have been celebrating your birthdays. Let's celebrate for the Holy Spirit. If you have understood, say amen. Tell your neighbor that you have to celebrate the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those who want to support food wise, please get involved and God will bless you. We shall be in this place dancing, jubilating as we are welcoming the Holy Spirit. How many of you have liked it? Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Yeah. As we are starting, we thought we would be doing it for five days. We thought we shall be five days. But on that day in the morning, categorically I had the, the Spirit of God say, talk about the Holy Spirit. So all the other messages, I had to put them down. And then I began to speak about the Holy Spirit. So we began with the five days, now it's two weeks. We are now going into the third week. Amen. Amen. It is the Holy Spirit who is doing this work. In Jesus' name. Are you ready with your offering? And with your tithe? We are going to pray. Someone must stand there. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we are going to give, we ask you to bless us. Holy Spirit, 
May you bless us. Bless the tithes. Bless the offerings. And bless all the givers. We want to thank you. We want to bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come and give. Amen. Now during the week we normally speak so deeply. And those who have been around, you have seen what happened. I pray that you don't miss any day in the week. We studied about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We also studied about the ministries of the Holy Spirit. It has been so good. So please make sure you're part of this. So that by Sunday we are in the same spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Let's, uh, once again, let's also give towards evangelism. Get hold of the offer to the gift for the evangelism. Please, I ask you that every other time you come, you come with that gift for the evangelism because when we give, we are doing the work of God. And the gospel is the power of God. Let's pray, Father, in Jesus' name. Bless our, our evangelism offering. And bless those who stand to support it. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come and give. Now it is also a principle. Uh, those who, are, who minister on this platform, make sure you don't miss in the week. This is now a direct announcement in the church. If you are ministering on the altar, the moment there is a revival and, there is go, and your senior pastor calls, make sure you are part of the revival. Otherwise, we are going to a time where we will not allow people who are not involved in the church. And those who like going on, oliere, oliere, please stop it. Come and be, be, embrace the vision here. So that we can move what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Somebody say amen. Raise up your hand and say, Holy Spirit. I love you so much. Give me the grace to come closer to you and become your friend in Jesus' name. May God bless you. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Your mercies and mercies